It goes back to 20 years ago when MTN was started in Uganda. Uganda was one of the few countries because of the wars they had that what, had what we call negative tele-density growth. There was negative tele-density growth, so there was a vacuum. Now that vacuum was filled by a telecom company, a mobile telecom company that came in then, but was very expensive. And their business plan was based on postpaid, which was not um, a product for this market. So we came and did our research. We realized that prepaid was a secret of success in Uganda. So we launched with our prepaid products and we took over the market. Prepaid, affordable products for the Ugandan market. So we packaged it. Our, our uh, products based on the demand of the Ugandan market then. That was our competitive ad advantage. Knowing Africa, knowing that every country in Africa needs a completely different business planning. So our package from the very beginning was Ugandan friendly. So that has led our growth and our expansion and our success. We never imported business plans externally. We made them in Uganda. We realized that uh, <clears throat> these, the products are migrating. They mutate each time. Like I said, a month in telecom is a generation. So you have to keep up the base. Your R&D, you have to keep researching, understanding what the market needs, what's adaptable, what's affordable but you must know the direction of the demand and the supply of the products on the market and acceptability, most importantly. Right now, the uptake average age is going lower and lower. So your product offering must address that. There are games, education, there's banking, there's security, there's medical, so telecom is no longer just voice and SMS. It has expanded into other fields. So we must start choosing and segmenting the, f the, the field we want to be in at the moment. That's why you find our, ourselves, we are now diversifying away from infrastructure, headaches like the towers and other areas that we cannot manage. We are out outsourcing them. So we're going to remain focused on our core areas in the industry so we can perfect them and we can do them very well and look for areas where we have a proper advantage, a proper comparative advantage.